Here we are again in Chatsworth land, right? Block number 11 already. So once again, I'm going to tell you real quick that um, we're just going to kind of show you the blocks and the construction of the blocks. Um, if you need any help with cutting, um, we've cut, we've done them three different ways. We've done them traditionally as is in the book as written by Doug and we have done them using rulers and we also have done them. Joy has done hers on the AccuQuilt system. So if you, the earlier videos kind of really explain all of that. So we're not going to go into the cutting um, anymore as we're getting late into the game here, but I'm, we're going to show you this um, block number 11. So this is the one that I did with the um, traditional cutting right. where you cut the squares and on diagonal. This is the one that I did using the rulers and a jelly roll. So the pieces, except for some, you need a little bit extra background because there are some pieces that are a little bit bigger than the two and a half inches that you would need, but you would just need a little bit of the background extra. But otherwise I cut everything out of one jelly roll. Um, and the, the instructions in the book, two pages this time. And Joy is going to show you block construction. Okay, so then with the AccuQuilt one, you are going to need the same players, dies four, five, and seven to create these. And we have covered how to do the flying geese and these parallelograms. They have been in most of these blocks in Chatsworth. But what I want to talk to you about today is the intersections that matter on this block. And I have made a pin here, and let me just show. And the points that matter, move this a little bit, there you go. In Easier putting these you. things together are where these flying geese meet these parallelograms. And I did not press my pieces as always because when you go to put these together, you want the pieces to actually nest. They are going opposite directions. and you want to make sure that as you reach this intersection that again you pause before you get there make sure your stitch is just on the other side of that intersection so that when you open them up they have a nice little meet there the other point place that meet are these center triangles but what's nice about these well, i guess on mine mine are all red yours are probably all four different colors but Again, you have that nesting going on. This seam is going uh, away from me. This seam is going towards me. And that allows them to nest and marry up really nice. And you've seen all these blocks before, so I'm not gonna talk about them. You've got the flying goose with the sky uh, pieces and the parallelogram. Remember, up the mountain, down the mountain. Yes, up <laughs> the mountain, down the mountain. And then, Marcia, did we have a bonus project that we were we going do. to um, highlight today? So these are actually Doug's out of his, this one in the back is out of the book. These are bonus projects that are in the book that you will have. So these are his his actual quilts, right. which are amazing. And look at this cute, cute table runner. I love it so much. And this one's all with the flying geese, right? Right. Flying geese and the couple of the blocks. Oh, right. So we're going to talk about these um after we get done with the blocks and we're going to show you how to make these traditionally and then Doug has paper piecing papers for these as well. So those will be coming up after block 12. And so. if you haven't purchased yours, yours yet, you might think about it, but I also will be talking about how to make them without the paper piecing method. So we're going to cover both areas so you have choices. Just like it is in here. Right. It does not This book does not cover the paper piecing. So I think we're going to button this up for block number what? 11. Block number 11. We're done already. So in two weeks, we'll join you right back here for block number 12. Thank you so much for joining us here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. My name is Marsha and this is Joy. And we are having so much fun traveling through Chatsworth with you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.